tan, mueve ese bum bum tan. Good morning, everyone. It is, of course, 5.30. Your boy is back on the AM workouts. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing more on explosion reps today, so I probably won't be going. We're gonna be focusing more on explosion reps, so I'm gonna be doing sets of three, um, trying to go as fast as I can, minimize the rest uh, period, because I'm not gonna go heavy anyways. So I'm not, I'm not pushing weight today. Um, I'm sticking to 225. Just not feeling it. I think on Sunday after I PR'd for 420 for the squats, my body is taking its toll. So I'm gonna have to take a few steps back this week. Kind of just give time for my body to rest. But it's okay, cause your boy's about to start programming this week. Cause we're gonna be officially 12 weeks out by Friday, I believe. We're gonna use this time to be a little bit more smarter than just going in the gym and trying to lift as much as we can quite often. It is Wednesday, uh, August 20, uh, I don't know, 28, 29, I don't know. But your boy got a package and guess who it's from? David, David Couthier. Who's here? I don't know if I pronounced it right. Sorry, brother, if I butchered it. When I was on prep, uh, he did a little interview of me, or an interview of me, but interview with me, um, and he wanted to send me a little care, not a care package, but a little caregiving package. Like, you like fitness? I, I like fitness too. Hey, you wanna try this out? Incorporate it in your lifestyle? And I was like, yeah, why not? Um, uh, it is the Cacti workout pack. He is actually a traveling nomad YouTuber where he pretty much shows people out there for people who are traveling nomads or just traveling enthusiasts but do not have the time to fit fitness in their lifestyle because they're moving too much. You have fitness in the box. I'm actually planning something now. I might plan something out with a, a friend that you, you've seen her before. Maybe she could teach me how to work out. I don't know. Take a break from the powerlifting movement uh, and then go back to a little bit of a uh, little hypertrophy stuff. But I don't know. I love it. Thank you so much. I can't wait to use it. Whoa, cool. You can do little upper body stretches and stuff. Oh, shit. Dude, look who the f decided to come. I missed you, YouTube. This guy said 1230. <laughs> well, my clock is wrong, all right? Franco did it once again. Westside with a bitch, you know that I'm a go. I'm a hot boy, but I like my head to go. Never listen to no hot talk, no shit. So Christian brought a dildo to the gym. <laughs> so your boy's been having some uh, with tennis elbow, elbow pain right here. Because I do low bar, so I have to like kind of go in a little bit lower. This little thing right here should help. All you gotta do is twist it as hard, twist it as hard as I can. Um, like twist. <laughs> Alright, you keep this one straight. Yeah. Oh, okay. this one, and you turn this like this. Oh, okay. and then yeah, and then you you switch it and you go back backwards. Wow, you're like really good at that. All right, <laughs> there we go. Oh shit. See, so boy, is hitting. Why does it look like that? Of, she looks looks weird. It has like a zebra thing on it. Anyways, I'm hitting 5x4 today at 315 because I'm about to start programming Tuesday. I'm about to get a massage tomorrow. Um, and, you know, 315 is fine. Thank you. 
right your boy put together his men's physique pictures and all that other stuff some of you guys might think damn this dude is pretty damn sentimental but I think the first competition is always important than the ones to come after it's just progression uh, other than that there's really nothing else to go over right now um, honestly I know this video has lacked a lot of quality content as far as edits uh, and content itself um, I've just my mind has been everywhere Lately, I haven't, I don't know. It's been hard to focus on one thing, I guess uh, I could say. Let me put this down real quick. Um, one, a person can only give so much energy in this world. Like, you can only reciprocate so much energy into the back, into reality. Um, what I mean is, you have a portion of, a fraction of your day dedicated to work. Um, the other fraction is to yourself, your, to yourself, you know, time alone, whatever you want to do, your leisure, hobbies, because that's it's always healthy to have a hobby, uh, mind being working out. Um, it keeps your sanity, puts it at an equilibrium. Um, the other part is dedicated to family, friends, loved ones. Uh, the other part is eating, taking a shit, peeing. Essentially, if you put all the things, all the energy, if you kind of like represent it on a pie chart, the pie chart is the limit. It is your max out as a whole. Easy way to say it is that you have a limit to what you can deliver. Um, so right now I'm kind of not really peaking, but it's feeling like I'm overwhelmed with just things that I'm trying to go over with myself at the moment. But other than that, I'm gonna close off this video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If not, that's fine, I understand, because if I watched this, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it myself. But I hope everybody has a great evening, whatever day you're watching this. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!